So guys, on this episode of TFL Talking Trucks Podcast, uh, it's a totally s- special show because I'm on location. I'm in a brand new 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer, and I've got the head of Jeep Brand North America, Jim Morris. Hey, Andre. Thanks. Great to be on the show with you guys. <laughs> yeah, dude. So uh, this is uh, quite special. It's a brand new vehicle. You're, you're adding a, is it fair to say it's a kind of a sub-brand? Yeah, premium brand? It's a premium extension of Jeep with the Wagoneer brand. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it's nice because it's really taking us into a new space. It's the first time, you know, uh, that we've had a three row SUV that can tow 10,000 pounds and do all of the capable stuff that you'd expect. And it's really uh, exciting to bring the Grand Wagoneer brand, you know, back to America. Yeah, because it's been, what, almost 30 years since the Grand Wagoneer actually was produced? It has. You know, we uh, ran it through the early 90s, started in 1962 you know, uh, as a 1963 model. Yeah. We have a nice little um, Easter egg with that uh, yeah, right totally. over here, which is uh, which is nice. But uh, it's nice because, you know, as, as a lot of our Jeep customers were getting, um, you know, going through life phases, they needed bigger uh, vehicles, they needed to tow more, um, you know, their families grew. Uh, or their sports required bigger trailers and uh, the Grand Wagoneer is a great way to keep up with uh, with one of our most common uh, customer requests which was you know give me a vehicle that can be as capable as they expect uh, from us but really um, expand to fill the new space and that's the space you of will arrive at your have, destination at 2 21 uh, p.m. Oh, thank you. The navigation is talking to us. Yes, it's yeah. going to do a bunch of way way routes here to. And I'm trying going. to keep it quiet as uh, as long as you know. This is kind of where north of New York City, and so let's just kind of cover the bases uh, first, and then tell people that we're towing seven thousand pounds. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the so, nice thing is it's so smooth. I forgot it was back there. Yeah, yeah. We, we, by the way, we're towing seven thousand pounds. Yes, <laughs> yes. I um, mean, it's a horse trailer, basically, and you know a lot about this. You actually have horses of your own. I do. Yeah. You know, and one of the most important things with the the uh, Grand Wagoneer program was to make sure that customers had everything that they needed to tow confidently, because when you have, you know, two horses on board, and you know, you, you need to know you have the best. So we've got the best technology, uh, em- employed with the uh, the Grand Wagoneer, yeah. to really make it a, a seamless and. Uh, uh, Experience while you're towing two horses. You don't even know what's back there. This vehicle will actually tow 10,000 pounds. So 7,000 pounds is nothing for this. Yeah, and why is this? So we need to let's let's talk about the chassis really quick first. So it's based on a frame. Uh, it's a body and frame vehicle, obviously. It is. Uh, but it's kind of unique because I, at first I thought, hey, it's just a Ram 1500, right, with a SUV body. But there's more to it, isn't it? There is. There's. It started with really good bones, as you know. The Ram 1500 or DT platform that yeah. we have is uh, is a really solid uh, backbone, and it started with that as a frame. And then we we actually had to do a lot to make it work with an SUV. So it's actually almost two feet wider okay. at some spots. And then it had to be significantly upgraded for the uh, uh, multi-link um, suspension uh-huh. in the rear and the suspension architecture with the independent suspension up front as well. So they had to do a lot of work, but they uh, they made it really nice. It also had to you know package the air suspension and uh, do all of the uh, things it needed to make sure that it had you know, best-in-class cargo and best-in-class people space. So they moved around the, uh, the platform to accommodate that. And right here, I wanna show you the actual chassis and the frame that underpins the brand new 2022 Wagoneer and also Grand Wagoneer. This chassis right here is actually for the Grand Wagoneer, which is their most premium and largest SUV now for Jeep and the Wagoneer brand. So you can see it all starts with this massive frame. So the green sections here are ultra high strength steel. The yellow sections are high strength steel and other types of steel. But you can just see how massive this frame is in general. And yeah, it's basic, it's truck based. As you can see, it's a body on frame vehicle. I'll go over the engine in a second. Uh, but it also, I think, kind of gives us a hint of what we might see on future trucks from Ram brand and maybe even Jeep brand in the future. Um, in, the, in the back, it's very unique. Although it is frame based, it's an independent rear suspension as you can see here. And there's the anti-sway bar. You can see all of the linkages here. Uh, they're saying it's uh, 
to dial in the ride and also to get the low uh, floor for the passengers and also for the cargo in the back. They say it's class leading as far as height, uh, load over height to um, get your cargo in there. Check out these air springs right here. Um, this premium of premium Grand Wagoneer has air suspension. I'll show you the air tank up front. Oh, and look, I can even roll it around a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. I want to show you this because you guys know I love trucks. So not only does it have a dual exhaust system right here for the big 6.4 liter Hemi, it's got an integrated hitch. And here's the thing, every Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer come this way. So this part of the frame, you can see it's welded into this um, frame section right here. It's all the way through both sides of this side frame and on this side as well. It's a two inch receiver, but this is what comes on every Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. And it also enables the 10,000 pound um, towing capability. So it's not a bolt on hitch. It's not accessory that you add later. I, I like that it's actually built in and gives it the class leading towing capability. Here in the back, uh, you can get several different uh, limited slip differentials for full off-road or kind of, uh, you know, slick pavement situations. That's pretty cool. This is a 26.5 gallon fuel tank, which is fairly large. For example, something like a Tahoe would have a 24 gallon tank. Of course, the Suburban has about a 28 gallon tank. Right here, you see the transfer case for the four wheel drive system. All Grand Wagoneers come with a four wheel drive for 2022. Eight speed automatic right here. Big boy engine, 6.4 liter Hemi V8. It has cylinder deactivation. Uh, brand new design for the air intake system, the exhaust manifolds, the exhaust system, which is goes into one, and then dual outlets out the back. Uh, 471 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque. Um, of course, independent front suspension as well. These tires are 32s on a 22-inch wheel. Uh, the tire diameter is about 32.1. And here up front, of course, it's a crash uh, cell here. You can see how these uh, frame rails go out to absorb energy in case of a crash. You've got your tow hooks. And you've got um, this dual air tank system for the air suspension. It's a dual tank, so there's one tank inside of another tank. It enables quicker up and down um, suspension motion. It also um, makes the vehicle go up and down uh, evenly, not you know, back and forth, back and forth, like some older vehicles do. The engine offers cylinder deactivation um, technology, but it is, you know, not the most efficient vehicle because of all of its power and everything that it offers. EPA ratings already out. Uh, I believe it's about 14 city, 19 highway. It's the rating on the Grand Wagoneer, you know, this largest and the most optioned vehicle that they have with a 6.4. The Wagoneer also comes with a 5.7 optional or base engine um, for, for the Wagoneer part. They're separate vehicles. So, but this is really cool to have access to this chassis. You can see details like height sensors, shocks, air springs, everything is right there. You can see the steering rack, of course, the belt system and everything else right here in the front. So it's a very unique taste of what actually underpins the vehicle. and. On this side, you've seen this on Ram trucks too. These are um, actually kind of vibration modules that take, um, try to take the vibration out of the frame. So as the vehicle goes down the road and the frame starts to you know, do its thing uh, over uneven terrain, this tries to cancel out some of those vibrations to make for a really nice ride. So, We'll have to wait and see how exactly how exactly it works and feels. But here's your look specifically at the Grand Wagoneer chassis. So what are some of the competitors specifically? Let's talk about Grand Wagoneer because it's your premier top of the line machine. Yes. Yeah. I don't talk about competitors. Okay, no, well, let's you not. Can. Okay, you can. I okay, I'll you talk can, about I'll talk you about can it say later. It and I'll say uh, it. I'll, I'll talk about it later. Yeah. Uh, what I will say right now though is listen to this. 
Yeah, Mr. Truck would love that, wouldn't he? Yeah. It's accelerating with 7,000 pounds behind it, and you don't even know that uh, that it's there. So. Not not really. I, I, you know what? And but what else is remarkable is that. So this is what, like a probably a, almost a 20 foot horse trailer, uh, with the, including the tongue, and 7,000 pounds. The 6.4 liter Hemi that you have in here, uh, 471 horsepower, 455 pound feet of torque. Uh, it's pretty, well, it's effortless here, especially here in New York. It is, you know, and, and it'll work at altitude for you too. Yeah. That's the best thing. And, you know, we uh, uh, have a very capable uh, powertrain. It's proven and, uh, and, and, you know, it's quiet. You can't hear it when you're driving down the highway. It's got a nice little note when you're spirited driving and you can hear it from outside when you start it up. It just makes you smile. Uh, but more importantly, it's got all of the uh, horsepower and torque in order to uh, deliver great performance in this uh, in this vehicle. It's actually, for the, a vehicle that looks this good, it shouldn't be as spirited and as fun to drive as it is, um, but it really does a nice job with it. And then, you know, driving, you know, through uh, uh, New York, you know, towing a 7,000 pound four-star horse trailer, it's pretty incredible how you don't even uh, know we have it. We've got great trailer tow mirrors. They got the convex. Yeah. Um, so there's no blind spots. You know, and uh, and it's really uh, it's really nice. Well, I can tell the mirrors are actually huge. You know, at first I was like, you know, is it going to be a different mirror? You know, depending on which vehicle you buy. But no, I, this mirror works. It's aerodynamic, right? It works on towing or not towing. And what else I found interesting, I was talking to Mike, the chief engineer. Yes. He said every Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer come with a hitch. Yes. It's built in. Yeah, trailer towing is, is almost a given for these customers. They're moving up because their toys got bigger, you know, than a Grand Cherokee. They need they need uh, to go from 7,000 to 10,000. Yes. Uh, or they, they uh, have more need for more space. Um, and uh, almost all of them, you know, tow at some stage, whether it be day one they buy it for towing, or you know, customer three in its life will be towing with this thing. Mm -hmm. So we made sure that we put that in as, as standard fare. And it's also you know part of the frame. It's welded in, so I guess that's where the strength comes from and the capability. Yeah, it did add to uh, some extra uh, torsional rigidity as well. The way they they built it together. Okay. So that's a really good point. So we're towing at slower speeds. You know, probably up to about 35 miles an hour because of these kind of neighborhood roads. Uh, but what I'm noticing and what I'm pleasantly um, surprised by this is that there is not a lot of kind of side to side motion. I think the suspension is actually handling, especially this load, quite well. We are in the fully loaded Series 3, right? And this is what upwards of $110,000 with every option, correct? Yeah, it is. The uh, Series 3 is $103,000. And when you load it up with the trailer tow, and the um, and the DVD entertainment system, pardon me, the rear entertainment yeah. system. All that it, stuff. Uh, it will get approaching 110. And what's really neat is we're doing, you know, eight degree um, downward and upward. Yeah. And that's just what I talk about the confidence because you're off to a horse show. I've done this many times. Yeah. You, know, you got two horses. You're fully loaded. You got all your stuff in. The worst case is when you, it rains because then everything is double the weight. Yeah. You know. Some people, you know, are right on the ragged edge with the uh, with the SUVs they tow with today. Right. And then they're way over when they load up their horse trailer, go to a show, and then they're in big trouble. They get to a hill like that with an eight degree pitch, they step on the brake, and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Right. The nice thing about this is you're never under trucked. You've got a lot of SUV to do whatever it takes. So you know the uh, the four star that we're hauling right now is one of the best in the industry. It's very balanced and and strong. Uh, and lightweight at the same time, mm -hmm. but we, you can't put enough stuff in that to over uh, do this uh, Grand Wagoneer. So it's uh, it's really set up to do a really nice job. Good combination. So where does this start? Uh, what the Wagoneer is kind of the more um, you know more, the more affordable kind of the base vehicle. Um, can you tell me kind of about some starting prices and what's what's powering that uh, SUV? Yeah. So the uh, the Wagoneer uh, is our uh, entry in the uh, uh, in the mainstream full-size SUV segment. So uh -huh. it's kind of right in the heart of the market. Starts uh, in the um, uh, $57,000 range uh, for a Series 1. It comes in both uh, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. And uh, all of the Wagoneers are 5.7 uh, powered. Uh, then you move up to the uh, Grand Wagoneer, and it's the epitome of American craftsmanship. And, um, you know, the, the, that is in the premium full-size SUV segment. 
and it starts uh, in the high 80s okay. and goes all the way to you know, loaded out like this one uh, with all the technology, 75 inches of, uh, of cameras, even a or oh, 75 screen. inches of screen, even a, a passenger screen in uh, in this. So wait, can you really monitor? Uh, on your side, you can monitor the cameras, the trailer tongue. It's amazing what you, this thing you can do. do it. And yes. the, I can't even see your screen, by the well, way, because there's a filter the, on it, That's the right? key is, so I could be watching a movie. <laughs> I could be watching the Olympics here, streaming over Amazon Fire TV. And, uh, you know, you could be driving. We could play the sound over, but we don't want to distract you. So we'll right. keep you uh, eyes on the road or heads up display. I, I thought you were going to say you're going to watch TFL Truck. Well, that's that's a, that that would just that would be too obvious, right? <laughs> okay. that, that only happens for me on Saturdays. I don't have time for that until until uh, Saturday. But yeah, that's uh, it, it's amazing what this thing. Is. And then we've got you know two screens in the back. There's a comfort screen and a full Uconnect Five screen in the um, uh, in the. So we have a 12 inch Uconnect Five screen. We have a 10 inch comfort screen, so you can. You know, manage your uh, your power heated, cooled, massaging seats on the way to the horse show. You can show you up and, and you're uh, you're ready to roll. Or if you've had a hard day, you know you can massage your uh, your back on the uh, on the way back from the horse show, and uh, and you're all set. Even the, the second row has got heated and cooled uh, in the second row, That's so great. it's got lots of uh, lots of luxury. Premium American craftsmanship is really what Grand Wagoneer is all about. Yeah, I got you. And also, you have the premium stereo system in this one, the Macintosh, uh, which, did you say 24 speakers or something? Yeah, 23. 23 speakers. 23 speakers. It's it's called the 1375 Macintosh reference system. Okay. And uh, let me pull it up here because we can uh, we can watch the needles move and it's, it's kind of fun. But it's got a 1375 watt, 23 speaker surround sound system. Yeah. And like the... It's right there. Uh, yeah. I like the Macintosh of the past, you know, it's got the output levels and and it moves and you can watch. Uh, sorry, I turned uh, it off. It's okay. Um, uh, uh, well, we we can't play other music on, yes. on, on YouTube for copyright reasons. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I got you in trouble for turning up the sound. <laughs> anyway, so, but it's amazing. It, it it sounds like you're in your living room, and uh, you know, Macintosh is a is a famous American premium audio brand that uh, that makes everything in America. As well, so you know it's a great combination with uh, with Wagoneer uh, to be associated with uh, with another premium American brand. Yeah, I gotcha. And of course, you have all the latest safety technology systems. Um, I noticed on the way here, I was driving actually this uh, particular one, and it had um, you know the active driver assist technology too. Yes, right? adaptive cruise, all of that stuff. Yeah, the the uh, new uh, Grand Wagoneer has got more safety and security than anybody else. Safety is really important for the customers that buy full-size SUVs, mm -hmm. and we listen to them, and we're coming out on top. 120, to be fair, if we rack them up, you know, versus the competition, we win, we have more. And one of the things that I'm really uh, uh, proud of, the way it's been executed, is the active driving assist. So you set it up, you know, set the speed, and uh, you, you can just relax and mm -hmm. the Grand Wagoneer will do all the driving. It's also very safe, you know, because all the sa safety systems monitoring all of the uh, vehicles and activity around you really makes it a safe driving experience and takes a load off. You know, I personally didn't think I would like giving up that amount of control, mm -hmm. but now that I've driven it enough, I really love the technology and, uh, and look forward to driving with it. It makes the drive uh, that much easier. And it's also, I mean, it's not fully autonomous, right? I mean, you still have to uh, kind of touch the steering wheel and still requires you to pay attention. Uh, but it, it's that next step, right? It's, yes. it's just taking you to that next step of assistance, I guess. Yeah, we call it um, active driving assist hands-on. We've got active driving assist uh, hands-off coming later in the year. Okay. But all will require that you still have eyes on the road. I got you. Yeah, yeah. So, so attention, the driver attention. Driver attention, yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, and then a um, couple more topics I want to discuss. First of all, when is this going to be available for we, sale? We will start uh, making this available later this month. So later in August, they will start showing up uh, at the dealerships. Okay. And also, what, what will be the dealership experience? Is there certain dealerships and, and certain sections of dealership? How's that going to work? Well, it's, that's a really important question because we've worked really hard with our dealers to uh, help them become Wagoneer certified dealers and uh, with that we have 10 promises 
uh, to the customers. Everything from making the uh, the, the uh, buying experience uh, almost seamless. They'll they'll do all of the stuff over the phone, drop the vehicle off at your house, test drives. All of that can be remote, and then the. Um, the ownership experience is taken to the next level with uh, our Wagoneer um, services that we have as well that uh, that makes it so that the customers will uh, be able to even have the vehicle picked up and dropped off at their house um, that'll be uh, washed uh, for them and on delivery um, and we've got um, a uh, Wagoneer uh, client services with 24 seven concierge service set up to help with all of that. So the customer can call, they can set up a text, they can chat with uh, their their uh, Wagoneer client services person and uh, you know set up an appointment with the dealer. They can say, hey, how do I uh, pair my phone? Or how do I put it in four low? Or how much can I tow at altitude? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all of those questions, they go directly to the specialists at Wagoneer um, client services, they answer the question and make it almost a seamless experience. It's like having an expert in the uh, in, in the passenger seat for you all the time. Yeah, well, um, so I just jumped in today and you'll think by the way, thank you for having me here at, at, the, at the event. Uh, I just jumped in and you know, a lot of it was familiar. Yes. You know, because like the camera system, the 360 degree review, I've been in Ram trucks before and other Jeep, yep. Jeep uh, SUVs and that was very familiar. Uh, I kind of knew um, kind of the menu system and also your Grand Cherokee L. Yes. That's already in the market. Uh, that was very familiar how the digital display was uh, laid out. So I didn't like feel like I had to relearn you know everything uh, it, it seemed it seemed kind of you know nice and at hand yeah, that's good to hear Andre because our Uconnect team has been you know working day and night to make it really easy we want this thing to be fast and usable and really easy to connect with and when it makes you feel at home it makes your life a little bit easier and I think one of the things that we really like about uh, Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer is is over the years you know it's had a lot of um, you know people you know rooting for it to come back and I think what a lot of that is is it's got a really warm place in a lot of people's hearts mm -hmm. because of you know it being a very active vehicle and you know kind of the the, the SUV that started it all and, uh, and now to come back you know with it here in uh, 2022 and and really have the best but be true to its name you know do it in a really nice warm and comfortable way that everything is recognizable mm -hmm. and it makes you feel good and comfortable is really important to us and of course the jeep grand wagoneer heritage is pretty amazing it initially uh, entered production in 62 as a 1963 model this is a later one uh, i've been told this is a 1991 uh, grand wagoneer and it's been iconic it was always kind of a luxury leader in the SUV space and take a look at this and pay attention to some of the styles how this grill the original grill matches the hood elements here and you may see that similar element in the brand new 2022 model as well um, so there are a couple of little hints that go throughout the vehicle let's take a look at the interior really briefly so you can see this is obviously leather pretty luxurious um, take a look at the steering wheel so this two-spoke design which also transfers to the new model the 2022 the all-new vehicle and of course the horizontal dash with horizontal vents um, that are throughout the vehicle as well so and you can see this one of course has automatic um, transmission and you know some switches here for your mirrors etc etc so so it was still a high, pretty high-tech vehicle for its day and of course pretty capable with four-wheel drive and a V8 engine. And take a look at this. Let's step back. Take this little step back. Of course this wood paneling did not transfer to the new one but, but still take a look at that beauty. Take a look at all the glass and that's a big element too that connects it to the brand new model. What about the other aspect of, because it's still part of the Jeep brand, and I know you've built some uh, kind of off-road, off-pavement capability. Yes. How important was this uh, to this particular vehicle? Well, it's important. First, it you know it has incredible off-road capability. 
uh, because it comes from Jeep, right? And that's what we do. And it's built into everything that we do. And that's what people expect to us. Okay. It's, it's not a vehicle that will go out on the trails. Um, and uh, we don't expect people, you know, we have Wranglers and, and Grand Cherokee Trailhawks, you know, for that kind of activities. But we built an amazing four wheel drive system. In fact, we have three for this. Um, and we actively manage the torque so that they customers can have the best four-wheel drive system So, you know whether they're you know taking you know their vehicle and they're at a horse show And they happen to be parking at the uh, at the top of a hill and it pours rain the next thing You know they got to get out of the field. Well, they know they have the best four-wheel drive system out to worry about it They did they just uh, take it put it in mud and sand and away they go. Yeah, or if you're off to a, um, a well, ski trip you got your your Grand Wagoneer loaded down with your family, you got a bunch of you know the neighborhood kids and you're off to a ski hill and uh, you're off to a, a, a nice snowy start. Well that's nice snowy start turns into a you know two foot snowstorm. Well, you just keep going. Yeah. You, you have the best four wheel drive system and that type of capability is really important for this customer. So we made sure they uh, they have the best and the uh, Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer can actively manage the torque, which means you could lift the vehicle up and put any one wheel down and it will put all the 100% of the power to the wheel that's getting the most traction yeah. and uh, you know the customers don't care about that they just know that when they want to go forward no matter what the conditions they can go forward and that's part of the Jeep I guess absolutely uh, DNA I guess right it's part of our DNA and it's part of what our customers expect from us and we're pleased to, pleased to deliver it with the new uh, Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer because you know you'll see it here on the off-road here in a minute we, we're taking this for places where people won't expect it you know can go it's a big vehicle it after is. all yeah and uh you know we uh if you need to get to your favorite fishing spot it'll take you there don't worry <laughs> and bring you back yes very cool um so i heard there was a rumor that well first of all this is a large three-row truck-based suv uh, but i i did that first story on tfl truck recently talking about the grand wagoneer and the wagoneer and people said well, it doesn't have a long wheelbase. Is, is there is there another one coming, or is, is there something else coming? What's that? Oh, <laughs> so okay. So uh, I, I guess I guess you're saying that was my that, diversion. I guess you're that saying uh, no comment at yeah, this point. Yeah, no comment. Okay. Well, I have. I if have you had to... less than a million followers, I could tell you. But we do have a million. I know, so I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So that was one of those future things that yeah. we, we won't talk about. Yeah, we can't tell you, but we, okay. might, we might see well, you this time next well, year. Well, tell me time. about new powertrains. What's coming up in a couple of years? Well, we have announced that uh, we will um, be making this electrified. And, uh, you know, that's, that's to come. I think one of the things that we're just launching now with uh, the Wrangler 4xe is, uh, is electrification for Jeep. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Christian mentioned a couple of weeks ago uh, that that's going to be rolling out across the uh, the range, and uh, and of course this will be uh, this will be part of that. So, you know, we're really excited uh, about uh, the success of the uh, the four by e Wrangler because it's it's a really good Jeep. You know, quite frankly, it took us a little bit longer to come to the electrification uh, yeah. market, but we needed to make sure it was a Jeep first, and I think we've done that with the uh, with the Wrangler. I think uh, some of your videos have proven out to be some of the the best. You know, to, to show that it's fun to drive, whether you're on the drag strip, or whether you're uh, you're in Moab climbing, you know, up uh, you know 20 degree inclines, it's amazing. It's got the most torque. It's available on tap, and uh, and away you go. And uh, I think that's really uh, really important for us because we're a four x four brand that over the 80 years of uh, of Jeep have uh, made that what's defined what defines our brand, and and uh, we're taking it to the next level with. Uh, with electrification and, and making sure that uh, we've got the best four-wheel drive vehicles uh, on the planet. Cool. Um, you, you know what? I, I think I got lost. Um, hold on a second. So we're in <laughs> north of New York City and we're trying to uh, figure out... I think you're um, going down this road. Yeah, I think so. But where was the our location? That's going to go to the checkers. That's right there. It's up here. Oh, the and then we kind of go around. No, these were the, the way stops yeah, the, that they, uh, that that they, they talked defined, about. Yeah. So we just have to go to the checkers. This Sir, is kind of vaguely familiar. Sorry, uh, we're, I mean, we're, we're having a conversation while driving. We forgot we had 7,000 pounds back then. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, it's so casual and it's very quiet in here. I think those are the key elements of like a luxury SUV, right? It is. It's kind of power, quiet, 
and also spaciousness you know this is a big cabin you know we're 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 sitting with plenty of space in the room uh, between us here's um, the most important thing watch this yeah. We got nice cool cool drinks in here. What the fridge? Look at that. Look, look at that. We got a fridge in here. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. Cool. Look at this. Uh, we got drinks, water, yeah. six uh, a place to put six drinks uh, in the center here. For our Texas customers, that can be a gun safe too. Uh I think we just keep going straight. Let's see. We may have to put an APB out. What does oh, that say? Go that way. Aha! We weren't lost after all. Yeah, you, you know, this trailer is not super wide, so, and this is such a big SUV that for a while there I was forgetting it's back there. That's that's the best compliment for uh, for an SUV. For a big SUV, yeah. yeah. So, I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to get back a little bit while I was getting lost. Um, you mentioned the 4xE, you know, the plug-in hybrid technology. You, you referred to the drag strip. Um, sorry, we did take the Wrangler 4xE to our test track. You know, it's just for fun, right? I know. I loved it. <laughs> but, but, I loved it. But it's also because it has all this power. So so electricity is not just for efficiency, right? It's it's also for, for actually acceleration and actually enjoying it. And that, that Wrangler 4xE is, was a Rubicon. Yes, and it still has all of the kind of the the axles, the lockers, the skid plates, all of that stuff that makes it the Rubicon, right? Still, yeah, that's the best thing about it. It needed to be a true Jeep first, and it is our best and most capable Wrangler because it puts 470 pound feet of torque to the ground instantly on all four wheels. Mm -hmm. And you know, you do that with um, with a Wrangler, you can lock the the uh, axles and uh, and take it absolutely anywhere, mm -hmm. and with complete quietness too, which is I think what makes you smile. Yeah. And then it's just fun to, to drive fast uh, as well. You know, you take the doors off and the top off in complete quiet, it's a really nice experience that uh, that nobody else in the marketplace can replicate. Yeah, totally. And, and you're saying, I mean, you're expanding that kind of technology availability through your lineup. Yes. Next yeah. out of the shoot will be um, the Grand Cherokee with 4 by e technology. We're going to show that later this month uh, in New York mm -hmm. at the auto show in New York. Hopefully it won't be as hot as Chicago. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, but we're coming uh, quickly with uh, with the Grand Cherokee with that same technology. Yeah. That's I cannot wait to actually see it and kind of see exactly what it's about because obviously it, it's not just about, you know, having all the luxury features but also having some efficiency built in too, right? It is. And then just kind of so you kind of have both, you know, everything and eat, you know, your cake and eat it too. Yes, and when you can say, you know, whether it be 21 miles of all electric range uh, or 48 miles MPGE and Wrangler mm -hmm. together, that's incredible. And, and uh, you can have all of the fun with all the capability that you'd expect in a Wrangler, all of the uh, um, four-wheel drive capability that you expect in a Wrangler, mm -hmm. and, uh, and great efficiency at the same time. Yeah, very, very cool. And you know the craftsmanship here in the Grand Wagoneer. I'm looking around. This is a seven-person model, uh, two kind of captain chairs in the center, and then three across in the back. Panoramic roof, right? Yeah, it's actually got sunroofs for each of the uh, uh, of the rows. So there's a separate one in the back too. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of uh, open air. Lots of open air. And uh, one of the things that the team has done is we're, we're setting the, 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 uh, the benchmark for American craftsmanship. And that was very important. It's what the Grand Wagoneer did back in its day. Mm -hmm. And we've got more real wood, real metal, and real leather than anybody else in the, uh, in the market. And we know that's really important to our customers because they want to buy American. We're so proud of the American um, production we have we even put the American flag on the on the side of the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer and we made sure that the attention to detail was there because the customers uh, have and can deserve and deserve to have the best interiors and I've said this before you know last month with the Grand Cherokee because I think that was the you know the, the uh, setting the benchmark for interiors mm -hmm. uh, in all autom automotive right now 
but now we've taken it up one more notch with the new Grand Wagoneer. And I would put this interior and this technology and this safety toe to toe with any vehicle that's made in America. And uh, and this is made in Warren, right? In Michigan. Warren, Michigan. Yeah. And I also liked when I popped the hood. Yes. It actually says uh, Warren, Michigan, right there. Yes. On, on the on the tab yeah. the tablet. We're really proud of uh, you know making these you know right here in the USA. Well, very cool. Well, Jim, thank you for your time. I, I know I probably took way too much of your time, but I really appreciate you know kind of getting your perspective on this because, I mean, this is a whole. It's a big deal. It's a sub brand. It's a brand new vehicle. And um, yeah, it's the first drive. There you go. You're the first one to experience it. So towing, too. yes, first one to tow with the new Grand Wagoneer. So and also, uh, hopefully, I can get this to Colorado eventually, and put it on the mountain. We should get a trailer, and you know, you could tow, tow a tent trailer out and go across every 50 states. <laughs> Motor Mountain, USA. Remember that? That seems like that was yesterday. Yes. But uh, thank you very much. And thank you for everything you do with spreading the, the good word uh, about the new products. And uh, we're, we're great fans of your shows. So whether it be, uh, you know, TFL Car, TFL Now, or TFL, TFL Off-Road. Off -road. TFL Off-Road is, <laughs> is my favorite. But uh, you guys do a great job in, in getting the word out on what really matters to our, these uh, these customers. So thank you guys for everything you do. Well, appreciate it. And as always, you'll find all these stories, tfltruck.com and tfloffroad.com right there. Good stuff.